Dear students and parents, welcome to the test prep card channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the Indian Institute of Information Technology, Allahabad, which is rechristened as Prayagraj now. So this institute is one of the triple IITs that is there across the country. And it's one of the top triple IITs, let me tell you that. So if you are going to seek admission into any of the courses being offered by the triple IIT, Allahabad, as I would be referring to it in the rest of the video, but uh, its uh, location now is in Prayagraj in the Uttar Pradesh state of India. So let us begin and uh, we are going to discuss the following topics as in a basic overview about this institute and uh, the other important information that you need to know with regards to the reservation for the NRI students and uh, also other details such as the cutoff which is to be expected based upon the previous years. That will give you an idea. So I would request you to please completely watch this video because then by the end of this video, you will have a good enough idea of what ranks do you need to target for yourself in order to qualify or be eligible for seeking admission into this premium institute, Indian Institute of Information Technology, Allahabad. So let us begin this video. And uh, let me tell you something about the institute, which would be very interesting for you all as well. So it was established uh, at the turn of this century and the millennium back in 1999. So it's been more than two decades of an existence and it's known as uh, IIITA. So as you know, that information technology kind of ushered in India back in the 90s itself. So it's uh, one of the pioneering institute, you can say that. And city is uh, as to well known as Allahabad, now Prayagraj. You can visit the official website for more such information about this institute. And the accepted exams are JEE mains. And some of the popular courses are BE, BTEC, MTEC, and uh, Masters of uh, Engineering as well. So it's a public owned uh, uh, government institute and 26 courses are offered across five streams. So let me tell you about what are these triple IITs. There are many triple IITs, a couple of dozen triple IITs across the country. Allahabad is one of those five triple IITs which are centrally funded. Other 19 are in triple P mode, public private partnership mode. Uh, the triple IIT Allahabad is one of those five institutes which are centrally funded. What are those other institutes? Let me just give you an idea and uh, perhaps you can watch the videos on the other institutes as well. Uh, Indian Institute of Information Technology, Allahabad is there and then there is Design and Manufacturing, Kanchipuram in Chennai, then uh, Pandit Dwarka Prasad Mishra, Indian Institute of Information Technology, Design and Manufacturing, Jabalpur, on which another video is there on Test Prep Card channel made by me. Please refer to it and subscribe to the Test Prep Card channel. And you can also refer to the document for the DASSC IWG category candidates prepared with the Test Prep Card team. So I was telling you about the five institutes, three of them I have already named. One is the Triple IIT Allahabad on which this video is based. Then another is uh, Triple IIT DM, Design and Manufacturing for DM, uh, situated in the south in Kurnool, Andhra Pradesh, just like one, uh, one was there in Chennai, Kanchipuram. And then there is ABV, Indian Institute of Information Technology and Management, Gwalior. So these are the five institutes, Gwalior, Allahabad, Kanchipuram, Chennai, Kurnool in Andhra Pradesh and one in Jabalpur on which I have made a video. You can go and refer to that as well. So now coming back to the institute on which this video is actually based upon Triple IIT Allahabad. Uh, so I told you that it was established uh, a couple of decades back. It's an autonomous institute. Uh, it's approved or recognized by UGC as well as AICTE. Its campus is a 100 acre campus. So big enough. And you can refer to the official website, which is www.IIITA.ac.in, which is the official website. Uh, then also you can do is uh, then have a look at the various popular courses like BTEC, MTEC, ME, uh, even an integrated MTEC plus PhD course is available and there is MBA course as well. So uh, the student strength is close to 1669 and uh, the entrance exams that are actually accepted are JE mains, a DASA, a GATE, as well as institute level examination that are taken individually by the triple IT, uh, the different triple ITs that are there across the country, right? So the application mode is uh, online. And uh, let me tell you something about the NRI quota. In the most uh, uh, basic programs on offer, 
by this triple IT Allahabad. Uh, the reservation, the total number of seats in the program, uh, the cutoff or the breakup will be uh, like general category 90 seats, then for SC 18 seats, ST 9 seats, physically handicapped 3. Uh, and then non-resident Indians, 18. So 18 seats would be available in a program on a general basis, I'm telling you that. So this is pretty much it. And uh, you can obviously seek admission into this through the DASA category. Now, uh, the reservation I have already told you about, right? So now we look at the various courses on offer by this triple IT Allahabad. So the streams such as uh, there is a BTEC stream, then there is a BTEC plus MBA. So an integrated uh, kind of a unique uh, course is on offer where a BTEC degree can be integrated with an MBA one. I will be telling you about the cutoffs in detail for that as well. Now the BTEC course, which is four years duration, the non-integrating uh, one I'm telling you about, it's available in the stream such as information technology because after all the institute is all about information technology. Then information technology with specialization in business informatics is a very unique kind of a course on offer by this triple IIT Allahabad. Then there is uh, electronics and communication engineering also. And uh, then BTEC plus MBA, which is a five years uh, integrated course that I just referred to uh, as being one of the unique offerings by this institute. So it's BTEC in electronics and communication engineering and BTEC in information technology. All right. So this is an integrated one. Do not confuse it with the BTEC four year course uh, of information technology with specialization in business informatics. That's a simple BTEC and the, uh, the rest of them I refer to were the integrated ones, which is a five year duration course. So one year additional you have to invest to get an MBA as well alongside your BTEC graduation UG program. Now, BTEC plus MTEC, which is another integrated course offered by many other institutes as well. It's a five-year course again, and it is available in Triple IIT Allahabad in information technology, as well as uh, BTEC in electronics and communication engineering and MTEC in microelectronics. So this is a unique combination that is on offer as an integrated five-year course at the Triple IIT Allahabad, BTEC in electronics, uh, and communication engineering and MTech in microelectronics. Now, MTech uh, generally at this institute is a two years course uh, separately, and it's offered across various uh, streams such as uh, machine learning and intelligence system, then electronics and communication engineering, cyber law and information. Bioinformatics is also offered as a separate MTech for two years at the Triple IIT Allahabad. Then information technology, uh, simply in that also and wireless communication and engineering. Then in robotics also, MTech is there for a two years course and in networks as well as in human computer interaction, it's also available. Plus it's available in software engineering. So that's uh, pretty much it. The MTech offerings by Triple IT Allahabad for a two year course separate from the BTech MTech integrated one. Now MTech plus PhD integration is there. So a the lot of integrated offerings are there by the Triple IT. Allahabad for which it can be called as a unique kind of an institute, uh, much like most of the triple IT, other triple IT's across the country as well. Now MTech plus PhD, the duration is 42 months. So it's a very unique kind of a combination. It's not four years, it's rather 42 months, MTech plus PhD. So uh, in this, MTech in information technology is there, MTech in electronics and communication engineering is there, which is alongside PhD, keep it in mind. MTech in human computer interaction, MTech in robotics, MTech in cyber law and information security, and then uh, MTech in wireless and communication engineering, and MTech in intelligent systems. So you would have uh, uh, got an idea that uh, all the streams that MTech is there uh, in, it can be combined with an integrated PhD, and the time period would almost be doubled, less than that perhaps. So you can actually look forward to it at this triple IT, Allahabad. But with regards to the bachelor courses, which most of you must be interested in, there is a four years bachelor course, which is a BTEC in information technology and with a specialization in business informatics, as well as an, another in electronics and communication engineering. And uh, if you invest one more year, you can get an integrated BTEC plus MBA in a five years time in uh, both of these streams that I just mentioned. So this was pretty much it about the courses on offer. There are very many courses. Let me tell you that. 
Now the required entrance exam at the triple IIT Allahabad for getting admission into the triple IITs, you can either appear in the JE or you can sit for the exam which is held by some particular triple IITs. But let me tell you that if you choose the JE option, you uh, need to have a good score and elig be eligible for the JE exam uh, and which I have already explained at depth. But I would also be telling you further ahead in this video about the cutoffs that are required across the various streams if you are targeting the JE and also if you happen to belong to the DASA category. Now, if you choose the entrance exams conducted by the particular triple IDs, you can actually uh, check their eligibility individually. Go to the official websites. I've already named a few triple IT uh, for you. You can go and refer to the eligibility individually and that would be a better option. Now, uh, coming to the required cutoff at the triple IIT Allahabad. Now, B.Tech in Information Technology, which is one of the most fundamental courses on offer, and it's also available with an integrated MBA. Now, Information Technology, the ranks uh, have been uh, fluctuating, the cutoff which is required over the uh, few last few years, starting from 2018, which was 4735 in the round one. Then uh, in the round one for 2019, it uh, declined a bit, but that means even a lower rank would do the job for you. 5330 was in 2019, while in 2020, the first round cutoff for BTEC in information technology was 4278. While in the more recent phases, um, the, the trend has been more or less same. Uh, uh, the ranks have been quite fluctuating, but let me tell you that the bottom line is that uh, re more recently in 2020, for all the rounds in information technology BTEC, uh, you need to score a better rank and then only you can secure an admission for yourself. Let me tell you about the DASC category rank, which was the cutoff rank for DASC uh, UG courses at the IIIT Allahabad in BTEC in, uh, inform in Information Technology. Uh, it was 465 in the second round uh, cutoff rank for uh, 2020. Now, BTEC in Electronics and Communication Engineering is another very sought after uh, uh, offerings in this triple IT Allahabad. Let me tell you first about the DSA UG uh, program. You need to have a cutoff rank in the round one of 540 in the year 2020. But for the other uh, years like 2018, uh, again, uh, you can say that the same fluctuating trend in 2019, the cutoff for some reason or the other across both the streams that I've just named were actually declined in the 2019 year. In 2018, a better rank was required. In 2019, a little bit of decline was uh, seen. But back again in 2020, uh, the ranks, uh, higher rank was required for you to secure admission into the BTEC in Electronics and Communication Engineering, much like it BTEC in Information Technology. So this is pretty much it. I have also told you about the DESA category cutoff rank that is required in the year 2020. And you can actually uh, expect a similar kind of a rank in 2021 or even perhaps a better rank would be required. Now, we take an information technology in business informatics, which is uh, one of the unique offerings, uh, a specialization within a specialization. Now, it's a triple IIT Allahabad. Uh, the cutoff rank for the round one in JE advanced in year 2020 was 4651 for this BTEC in information technology business informatics course. While in the round eight, it was 5498, right? So this is the JE main uh, advanced rank that is required for you to have, uh, clear the cutoff. So this was pretty much it. And uh, this has kind of become tougher. Uh, if I compare the 2020 cutoff ranks uh, in this stream of information technology, business informatics with the 2019. So there has been a very, very sharp increase. That is a better rank is required vis-a-vis -vis the previous year in the year 2020 compared to the two year 2019. So please do focus upon it. And for the DASA UG category in uh, information technology, uh, alongside business informatics, the BTEC category, 699 cutoff rank was there in the year 2020 for the DESA category. So that is also a good enough rank that is required. Now coming to the MTech category, let me just brief you up about the gate requirements, which is one of the required entrance exams to seek admission into the triple ITA. MTech in electronics and communication engineering uh, in the year 2020, the round uh, five uh, cutoff rank, which was required in the gate uh, examination, obviously was 486. While in MTEC in Bioinformatics, uh, the cutoff rank, uh, cutoff score, in fact, uh, or you can say it's a rank, it was uh, 367 required in the year 2020 for MTEC in uh, Bioinformatics at the IIIT Allahabad. So that's uh, pretty much it about uh, the 
the various cutoffs uh, for the DSA category. I've told you things to be kept in mind is that for uh, information technology business informatics at the BTEC level, the DSA category rank is 699. For the BTEC in information uh, technology, it was uh, 465 in the second round of the DSA. And then 540 uh, cutoff rank in the year 2020 was required in the BTEC in electronics and communication engineering a stream. So this is pretty much it that you need to keep in mind if you're targeting it through the DASA category. Please refer to the, uh, the to the document prepared with the test prep card uh, team after subscribing to the test prep card YouTube channel. And also you can find in the, the link for the NRI cutoff in the description of this video. And please do go and look forward to it uh, and have a good look at it so that you have a fair enough idea about what you need to target if you belong to the NRI category and applying through a DSA CIWG category. So now coming to the scholarship, which uh, many of you must be interested in to seek admission into the IIIT Allahabad. Now it's an Indian Institute of Information Technology. So scholarships and fundings are different. Now, based upon the academic merit and the statement of purpose, only uh, usually 20 students from the NITs, IIITs and IITs and other reputed central state institutions uh, are offered internship among which 10 interns are awarded scholarship of 10,000 uh, Indian national rupees. So this is one of the scholarships that's an offering. You can have more information, just Google that up. Then there is a post matrix scholarship scheme for minorities. So if you happen to fall in the minority category, it will be available for you as well at this institute itself. And the scholarship amount is uh, 3000 per annum. Uh, so this was uh, the scholarship too that I was referring to, which is specifically or exclusively available for the minority candidate students only. Now there is scholarship three as well. Merit come means scholarship for professional and technical courses, which are very well applicable to this triple IT Allahabad offering as well. Students who get admission to the college uh, to pursue technical and professional courses on the basis of competitive exam, much like this JE exam that we are referring to will be eligible for 20,000 per annum of a scholarship of Indian national rupees or the actual course fee, whichever is less. And also a maintenance allowance for hostel years is also paid on a, a yearly basis. And even for the day scholars, it is there. So the annual income should not exceed 2.50 lakhs per annum from all the sources uh, for the beneficiary, uh, the parent or the guardian of the beneficiary. Then there is central uh, scholarship scheme four as well, which is a central sector scheme of scholarship for college and university students. So you can actually find more such details about all the scholarship schemes that I referred to, which are applicable to triple IT Allahabad. What you need to look is that whether you actually fall in that category for which it is applicable, say for example, minorities and also the income uh, qualification, whether it's applicable to your guardians or not. So this is what you need to keep in mind. Just uh, actually search for this. And also you can go and visit the triple IT Allahabad.ac.in the official website address that I told you at the start of this video. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, I would uh, request you to uh, go back and watch the other triple IT video as well in the test prep card channel after subscribing to the test prep card channel. And also you need to visit the official website and look for the other scholarships and whether you fall into that eligibility criteria individually or not. And also if you are, uh, if you are actually planning to sit in the individual institute conducted examination, so you need to check the eligibility individually for that. I've already told you the cutoffs for the JE exam and the gate exams as well. And for the DSA, uh, Cutoff, I have also given you an idea, but you can find that document by the test prep card channel and find the uh, link in the description. And uh, thank you so much.